right, sports fans, welcome to the car, welcome to a new video. Um, as ever, before we talk about it though, here, hit that little subscription button, and let's roll the intro. So, it is a lovely sunny day, t-shirt on, we're sitting in a queue of traffic, and um, it's five to five. Um, so we're in Fife. Again, amazingly, a race no more than half an hour drive away. Um, although obviously the drive takes a little bit longer when you're sitting in a queue of traffic. So we're heading over to Fife to the Loch Ely uh, race circuit for the um, uh, what are they called now? It was the spokes race team, but they've pulled out of organising it, and I think it's pedal. Blah, I can't remember what they're called. Pedal something. Martin, Martin, the um, the timekeeper um, who runs stuff. He comes from Dundee direction. He is running the events now. So um, right now the juniors are on. Um, and then we've got a Cat 4 race, a Cat 234, and then a Cat 123. Uh, the Cat 4 tonight also contains any ladies who wish to race, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. Um, before, when I've been in a ladies race, uh, a mixed race, I should say, it's a case of uh, one of you goes first, so either the guys or the girls. Uh, you know, actually, it's normally the guys go first, and then uh, the girls go maybe 10 seconds afterwards. And um, if you catch, if anyone uh, gets caught, you're not allowed to join in. You have to pull to the side and make sure they get through. Um, yeah, I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, I didn't say anything in the race book for tonight. So anyway, um, nice sunny day. Um, there is quite a bit of cloud, uh, surprisingly, considering that right now we have winds of 41. So it's black, it's gusting. Um, as far as the weather uh, app is concerned. Fingers crossed, the forecast is correct, that in the next hour, hour and a half, it should drop to 20. Now 20 is still a heck, heck, of a heck of a wind to try and race in, but it's much better and safer than 41. Um, bearing in mind, if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll know that Loch Ely especially is very, very prone to wind because it's a purpose-built circuit. It's only about three years old. And I don't think they've actually planted any trees whatsoever. So it's always going to be that way. There's never going to be any cover from the wind. It's wide open. Um, there's nothing around it. So, yeah. So anyway, um, we raced on Tuesday. We felt pretty good. Unfortunately, not enough people turned up, um, so we had less than 10 on the start line. So despite racing, like no change to the effort involved in racing, and it was a hard effort, um, because as I said on the day, at the video, actually, if you've not seen the video, there's a link up here, but as I said at the time, um, one up the road, then two up the road, one hanging back, causing um, interference in the chase, meant that it was hard in the chase group trying to bring those two back and eventually they were too far gone um so yeah we sat in a little bit um which is why the average power is uh, down peak power was up but yeah we got sixth but because there was less than 10 at the start line we didn't earn any points so that's that's really it's frustrating like i know i've said before that like racing on Zwift doesn't matter if you come first, second, third, 100th, it's always a workout. It's nice to have that little first or whatever. And to a certain degree, it's also the same racing Cat 4 because although you although you do have the benefit of, of winning points if you race well, it doesn't really matter. 
because you're a cat four, you're not racing for anything really. That said, when you've put the effort in and you've raced tactically well, although we, we did make we did make one massive cock up. Um, you've raced well, but then you come away with nothing. Um, so that is a bit of a con contradiction there. So you know the points don't matter, but they actually you know when you when you should have had them, it matters. Um, what doesn't matter is if you know if you come eighth or if you come twelfth, so be it. You know as long as you race well. But when you come top ten and you get nothing for it just because of the technical regulations, yeah, that's a bit annoying. Anyway, let's not focus on that. We um, we should have done an easy ride yesterday, just forty five minutes. Work, family, whatever, got in the way, and we also haven't been feeling very well, so we didn't get a chance to do that ride. Um, I was gonna try and do a little ride this morning, just to make sure the legs are loose. Again, didn't get a chance. Um, so we're now heading up to Loch Gelly. Um, we should be there pretty sharpish. I mean, the, now that we're past the bridge, um, although there's traffic, it's quite free-flowing. Um, it's five o'clock. We're not actually racing until 6.40 tonight. So we could hop on the bike and just do a little cruise around Loch Ely. Um We'll see what happens with the wind. Fingers crossed the forecast is correct and it dies because I don't really fancy doing a 20 minute warm up on rollers when it's windy. And actually, come to think of it, I've just remembered that the rollers um, the front roller's loose. I needed, a, I needed an Allen key to, to fix it on Tuesday. I didn't have one, so I borrowed Rossi's rollers. So, yeah. I'll need to see if someone's got a got an Allen key when I get up there. Um, so, yeah, that's it. There's not really much more I can say. Um, Legs-wise, I think they're all right. We've had a decent amount of sleep the last two days. Um, Recovery-wise, for the whoop, we're sitting mid-70s. So... You know, that's not bad. I'd much rather it was higher than that. Um, so we're in the green rather than the orange, uh, the yellow. But um, yeah, fingers crossed it should be, you know, we should be physically okay. I mean, that said, and it is in the back of the mind, so, yeah, we've never really raced that well in at Lockheed. two miles, at junction 2A, take the A92 exit to Glenrothes Kirk Audi. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we've never really raced that well at Loch Ely, and I think primarily that's because one, the field is all is always, always stacked. But two, for a crit circuit, it's quite lumpy. And the extra weight that we're carrying, it doesn't really lend itself well to racing on a lumpy circuit. And then even worse, when it's windy. So yeah, we'll see how we get on. Anyway. I'm now completely and utterly waffling. Uh, obviously that makes up for the fact that there will be zero race footage because as ever, we can't do race footage. Come on, British Cycling, sort it out. Um, so yeah, I shall see you when we get signed on and we get ready to get racing. Well, we're here. Uh, we've signed on. We've got our our, uh, our skin suit ready to rock and roll. Uh, let me just turn this camera around quickly. Can you see that wind moving? There's no flags to show you, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, it's really windy. Um, it has not calmed down yet. It's six o'clock. We are racing in 40 minutes time. Yeah, I'm not sure whether to just warm up on the circuit or attempt to do the rollers. I'm not sure. There is a rider just started on the circuit right now. Nope, he's not started on the circuit. He's um, he's going for a ride out in the road. Um, yeah, there doesn't seem to be any juniors here. They mustn't have uh, turned up. I don't know what's happened. They should be racing on just now. Um, 
yeah, not sure. Um, anyway, <sighs> let's go and get changed. Let's get on with the warm up. Let's get the race done, and I'll see you back here when it's all done and dusted. Well, <coughs> that was interesting. Uh, yeah, too, too windy to um, to warm up on the rollers. So did a warm up of sorts um, out on the track. Um, interesting that because of the wind, the direction we were racing tonight was clockwise as opposed to normal anti-clockwise. And... We were only doing the outer jelly bean, which means essentially just a very big circle. Um, and that was down to the wind. It was felt that it was uh, too dangerous to have any of the uh, any of the infield corners. So, yeah. Um, Race-wise, um, it essentially was everyone together. Um, so women and uh, men seniors all in the same race. Um about 10 minutes in, I lost the wheel in the wind. And um, in fact, I tell you, right, let's start at the beginning. Straight from the gun, one rider off. And I mean off. Uh, I, I don't know I don't know what he was playing at, but he was flying. He must have had at least half a lap. Um, don't know why he did that. Um, I think he was caught before the first preem. So there's preems at 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and then just a spot prize for whoever was first across the line at 20 minutes. Um, I'm pretty sure he was caught before the first preem at 15 minutes. So I don't know why he went off the front. Anyway, as I say, about 10 minutes in, I lost the wheel. And, um, yeah, that was, I just, I just couldn't, just couldn't get in. As I said in the, in the, the run up to tonight, um, because of my weight, I've never fared as well. I'm just watching the uh, two, three, fours go past. I've never fared as well on this course as I have on other crit courses. Now, again, it could be down to the field, the strength of field, or it could could be down to this circuit not suiting my big fat belly. Um, anyway, ten minutes in, lost the wheel. At that point, I was tenth. So, like last time, I fought on for another five minutes, ten minutes. Um, and then the two riders that were behind caught me. Sat in on the wheel, recovered, took a turn, let another rider go through. Um these two riders were going through and off, through and off. I sat in for a little bit. And then we got lapped. As we got lapped, one of the riders who I was riding with, so we were in a three, and we were sitting 10, 11, 12. Um, one of those riders decided to, to go and catch the wheel of the guys who were lapping us. Now, there's nothing essentially wrong with that. Sometimes, sometimes commissaires will tell you not to do that. Sometimes commissaires will say, you're absolutely free to do that. Um, just don't interfere with their race, but sit on the back, not a problem. Um, because the person that went was in the middle of our three, actually, I tell a lie, he was at the front of our three when he went. So I had to really go to get round the guy in front. Unfortunately, this was on an uphill drag, of course. Uh, I had to really go to get round him to get back onto the wheel of the guy that I was following that was now 
not at the back of the bunch, but towards the middle. So really, really moving up. And um, wow, I mean, that's definitely not meant to be the case. You know, if you if you if you sit on the back wheel, that's fine, but you don't get involved in their bunch anyway. Um, I battled for a good half lap to a lap to maintain my position at the back of that bunch. Um, obviously, I wasn't at all interested in that bunch. All I was interested in was that one rider because at that point, he was in 10th and I was in 11th. Um, I did eventually catch him. More so because he was dropping out because, you know, we've been lapped. So he couldn't maintain the pace that the bunch were putting in. And um, we then dropped back. Now, the interesting thing that happened is as he dropped back, there were other riders who had been dropped from the main pack, who then caught up to us. So then instead of two of us, the third person that we're with caught up, plus two more who'd been dropped from the main bunch. So we then became a five. And... Um, Right on the very last lap, my in, my intention my intention for the rest of that duration was to sit and just to sit and just to sit because I wanted to sprint. Um, I knew from the previous week that one of the riders that I was with, I could beat easily in the sprint. I knew that. One of the other guys, I wasn't sure. I mean, looking at the size of his quads, I'm thinking, he looks a bit like a track rider. Um, he's going to have, if he can kick it, he's going to have some some decent sprint. Um, the other two riders, as far as I was aware at that point in the race, I was thinking they've been dropped from the main bunch. We've been lapped by the main bunch, so therefore they're ahead of me, or so I thought. Anyway, came to the last lap and um, the bunch came hooring past us at that point um, up the sprint line. Now, as far as I thought, that was also our finish. But two of the riders that I was with pushed on and, like, really pushed on. So I pushed on and went with them, um, finished the lap, got caught in the wind on the very last corner and could not get round these two in the sprint at all. Um, but it turns out that my late, my race, as I expected, finished at the finish line when the other riders finished. Because that's what should happen. You don't just carry on. If you're if you're a lap down, you're a lap down. You but you finish when you finish. Um, so anyway, turns out I completely lost track of where I was. But it turns out that I had actually not only defended my tenth place but made up another place at some point during the race. I don't know when, I don't know who I overtook, but I overtook someone. So the finish position for me was ninth. So that means this week I've had two top 10 places. Now, unfortunately, as I said, the first race was less than 10 starters, which means that we didn't get any points for that sixth place. But two races, Two days apart, first one a sixth place, second one a ninth place. I'll take that. Thank you very much. So, I'm going to head home. I'm going to. Uh, I think I'll, I think I'll nip to the shop and treat myself to something nice for dinner, and um, recover. No racing next week, as far as I'm aware. I don't think I've got any racing next week. So, um, in fact, I don't think. If I, if I think rightly, I've not got anything now until the second week of June. So I've got a two-week block of some training coming up. So, better go and uh, celebrate tonight. Possibly take tomorrow off as a, or even just do a wee, a wee easy recover. 
and um, and then back on it. So, with that being said, that's going to be the end of today's video. So, as ever, if you've enjoyed it, leave me a thumbs up. You know I appreciate that support. So, hit the like button, smash it, tickle it. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you uh, turn notification bell on so you know when new videos are live and up on the channel. And although I've not been doing many recently, also if you're turning on notifications, you'll know when I go live with any live streams if I'm doing any racing on Zwift. Take care of yourself, keep those hands clean, look out for each other, and as ever, I'll see you soon for some new videos. Right on. Mm -hmm.